It's our hundredth episode. We're Happy so birthday old. to us. We are officially podcasters. Oh yeah, we made it. We is really this did the make centennial it. episode. It's the it centennial, is. but I still feel twenty one inside, and my forehead is twenty four. I know. When it's I all started Botox. getting Botox, <laughs> it's pretty incredible, you guys. So what did we think, Lady Gang? Like, Jack, when I first texted you and I was like, hey, we're putting together this thing. We want you. Like, what right. did you think Lady Gang was going to be? I don't even – well, because we started it before podcasts were really A that thing. big. So I honestly Why, was guys? Because like, we're tastemakers. Tastemakers. Yeah, we are. We are so relevant. Relevant. It's I sit back and I think, what would I have done with all my free time as an unemployed actress? Like, <laughs> probably Lady Gang. No, maybe not. <laughs> Lady still, Gang still has really given me line. purpose when I just wanted to, like, I don't know, move back to Atlanta and work at a Chick-fil-A. I have to say, I don't think I would have gotten my job on Entertainment Tonight if Lady Gang hadn't become such a success. I do you mean, think it, they've been looking at it and wanting you no, more? No, hopefully, hope to God they're not listening to Naked <laughs> Stretching. But I do think it, like, when you have something that people actually enjoy, it gives you some power in the world, you know? like yeah. It's true. I mean, it is a testament to just finding something you want to do going in 110% and just sort of like seeing where it takes you and it's taken us to a pretty awesome place. 